And then, of course, the big goal. Let's have a look at the opening goal of this third, fourth place game. And Calter with some good work in the corner. Yeah, Calter again gets it down low. Jenner the little give and go shot coming in. And he was the first one to Lynette. He's coming out of that corner. The defenseman has got to keep an eye on him. But if, as you look at Walsh, it pinched out towards the shooter and then didn't get back in time. It's a difficult opportunity there. He needs to get cover there from DeMontis as he drops back into the slot. Well, it was a good play by Turnbull. We're talking about Turnbull. Look at Turnbull. That's a good turn and fire. So you ask your goalie to make the first save. But look at the second attempt effort. It's the second effort by Jin. And right there is the poke check, but he stays with it. He doesn't do the drive-by. He doesn't worry about the poke check. He just keeps focused on the puck. Yeah, he doesn't give up on the play. And that's exactly what every coach will tell you. Keep your legs moving. Get in front of the net. There's the big save. The poke check tries to come out here. It's a great opportunity here to see it in slow-mo. He just misses that. Jenman gets it over the top of the stick. And then it's a matter of pivoting in the skates and flicking it up over the goaltender's pads. And Sam uh, Tucker, sorry, Tucker was outstanding in the first period too. Both goalies playing out of their pads, no doubt about it. Gendron's first from Turnbull. And, and Tucker and Vimashka, definitely the, the players of the period so far. But look what it means to the captain. Absolutely. You know, again, coming overseas, he gets to lead his team out onto the ice. Both of these teams are going to be battered and bruised. And if you get that final win, the, the, the long flight tomorrow won't feel as bad for certain. Let's have a look back at all the goals from the middle of 20 minutes. It was 1-0 UConn after 20 minutes of play but straight away 16 seconds in Stevens yeah great play by Stevens again chipped up the wall got it under control right on the blue line lucky not to maybe jump off offside but a great finish down low past the goaltender he's a big man his dad was a pretty good goal scorer in his NHL career Kevin Stevens and that's a huge shot from Luke Stevens and there again we talk about it on the off wing left-handed shot down the right side rips it across the body of Vimushka. Yeah great finish again as I say by Stevens. He got them back into it and really did give Yale life at the start of that second period. Evan Smith with an assist deservedly so his second assist of the season. If there's a guy deserving a few points in this one it's Evan Smith. Evan Smith was was really solid and this is a big opportunity here coming inside. Jewel never given up in the play. He gets the first opportunity to get it away, and he slots it past. There's the first save coming in. Little poke check away from the goaltender. He couldn't recover in time, and Jewel smashing it past him to, to go ahead with a 2-1 lead. First goal of the season, so two goals within the first four minutes and 57 seconds of the second period. They conceded a goal with 139 left in the first period, but they didn't hang their heads. They came out storming with those two goals, but how about that power play goal from Sasha Payusa? Payusev capitalizes on the opportunity there, but Snively sitting in the penalty box, serving a five-minute major. Look at that. There's no back lift on this at all. Little snapshot, throws it up over the blocker of the goaltender, tied things up at 2-2. Ninth of the season for Sasha Payusa. That is some kind of release. Well, the O'Neill line, Snively will feel bad that he was in the penalty box for the Payusev goal. He gets an assist on O'Neill's second of the season. Yeah, Snively, again, lovely vision come behind the net, throws it out front, a little bit of a bounce going the way, uh, right onto the stick of O'Neill, and O'Neill made no mistake, slotting that up. Nice play by shelf. Charlie Curdy as well to get it back against the green like that. Snively did the work, but Curdy made a good play. Just off of that play again, I think it was the next shift, Charlie Curdy had a big collision, right in slot, he left the ice, hope to see him back at the third period, because he's been a really important player. This was Goss to try and put another one by Vamushka, give him credit, he was under siege for a point there. But he's been very good as his Tucker in the other end. The third period goals from the third place game. Yeah, again, another turnover here. A little tug from behind. The goaltender, obviously, you know, had the chest up right on top of his, his blue line there, right through the five hole. But DeMontis has to be given a pat in the back foot. You can just see it here. Little tug, loses his balance. Turnover, and you can't be turning the puck over exactly where he did. Five hole, goal, pushed him in. O'Neill's second of the game, third of the season. That coming just a minute, 36 seconds in. And within the first 308, it looked like they had added another. Let's have a look as Kemp gets it out front to DeMontis. This would be reviewed, but great skill. Yeah, again, DeMontis just kicking the skate of the goaltender there. And that goal, as I say, was disallowed. But here's the other goal coming up for UConn. Coming in, great shot from how you said. Never giving up at the play and, uh, you know, having an open cage there behind him. He's not going to get an easier goal this season. Max Calder, and I, I thought he thoroughly deserved that this weekend. He was really, really good. 
Big goal there to get them back in at Coulter's fourth with 12 minutes left. Isakov with his second assist of the game, and you can see what it means to Coulter there. Well, Snively was busy all weekend long. He finally gets that first goal in Belfast. That's his fifth of the season, and he explodes the water bottle on the power play. Yeah, again, uh, the, the player, Elmir, lost his stick. Stepping in there just to take a little bit of space was Pleco. Pleco threw his stick up into the air. He goes to retrieve his stick. Snively comes in, and he pops a water bottle right over top of the net. Perfect finish. Not much Vimushka could do. This is just second and third efforts, isn't it? And Hall would not be denied here as he just uses that long stick to beat everybody. He just outworked the defense. Big, strong body protecting the puck. Comes right into the blue paint. You just see him coming from behind the net. Brings it out from behind. Steps in there. And a lovely goal from Hall. Good work in beyond the goal line by Welsh as well, who would get his second assist. Hall with his third goal. And it's just that stick to it, stick to it. And the Boston Bruins draft pick finishes off the scoring in the third, fourth place game. Again, a great camera angle from here right over the top of the net. Hall gives him a little bit of a nudge there, nothing untoward, and a great finish, a really, really impressive finish.